Some games are unique and innovative, while others are just flat out bizarre. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for another top 10 weirdest video games. Anything else I should know? For this list, we've selected 10 more of the strangest and most non-conventional games ever made. If some real weirdos seem to be missing, be sure to check out our first list, the top 10 weirdest video games. Who the hell are you? I'm taking over this story. Over my dead body. Number 10, Octodad. Destroy, destroy. Hear that? Originally a freeware PC game, Octodad follows an octopus. That's a dad. Are you ever going to explain that? Okay, more specifically, it's an octopus posing as a human who needs to complete mundane human tasks to keep his charade going. It's time to head to the aquarium! Yay! <laughs> By controlling each of his limbs independently, players help Octodad make it through his day without blowing his cover. I will always find you! If the concept itself didn't make this obvious enough, Octodad is hilarious, fumbling around with even the simplest of household chores. It's, a it's an alien. octopus! It's Dad! Nobody else knew? Number 9. Bad Mojo. We know what you're thinking, and no, there's no relation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In a bittersweet act of comeuppance, Roger Sams, a scientist, gets transformed into a cockroach after spending years embezzling money from a major roach pesticide grant. A long and perilous detour into the night of my soul. Now, you must control Sam's in cockroach form as he explores disgusting apartments and tries to get out of his predicament. Behind Bad Mojo's bizarre premise and sometimes disturbing graphics and imagery is an awesome adventure game filled with really unique ideas and challenging puzzles. Still, you control a cockroach, so it's kind of gross. Number 8. The Stanley Parable Stanley, let's go back to the other room. In many ways, The Stanley Parable is a game about playing video games and about straying from the long-standing conventions and rules associated with them. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. It's Stanley, a mindless office drone, versus the narrator, and you get to decide whether to follow the story that the narrator is telling, or stray from it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. With countless branching paths and possible endings, the Stanley Parable will keep you coming back for more. If only so you can discover another way to add more hilarious, mind-bending wrinkles to Stanley's otherwise mundane existence. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Number 7. Boonga Boonga <laughs> Peripheral-based games took arcades by storm with titles like Dance Dance Revolution, but there's nothing quite like Boonga Boonga, which translates roughly into Spankum, and was only released in Asia. The title is actually a bit of a misnomer, because you're not really spanking anyone, but rather, and bear with me on this one, simulating the act of forcibly jamming your finger up someone's butt as a prank. You can choose between several victims, including your mother-in-law, ex-partner, and, a uh, child molester. For obvious reasons, this would never fly in North America. Number 6. Parodius Series What happens when you parody the granddaddy of side-scrolling shoot-em-ups, Gradius? Well, you get Parodius, of course. Get it? Gradius plus parody equals Parodius. Very clever. Anyway, basically the Parodius series is Konami's attempt to jam in as many insane references, techno remixes of classical music, and over-the-top goofy humor into one shooting game. And the results are spectacular, zany, and most importantly, a lot of fun. The pinnacle of the series is probably Sexy Parodius, which is the same as the other games except it's filled with scantily clad ladies and lots of innuendo. Number 5. Plumbers Don't Wear Ties My god, what kind of perverted monster are you? Nope, the video player isn't glitching out, this one's a real slideshow. 
With developers eager to test out new technologies, there were many full-motion video-based adventure games released in the 1990s, but none were more puzzling than Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Note, you must be 18 or over to take a look at this decision. An adult-oriented romantic adventure for the ill-fated Panasonic 3D, featuring the most stereotypical vapid 90s beefcakes you can imagine. I know, I know, you think sex is dirty and disgusting. Plumbers Don't Wear Ties is probably the most bargain bin friendly game ever made, with title cards that look like they were made in Microsoft Paint, horrible, mistake-filled voice acting, you'll never eat lunch in this town again, and some of the most cringeworthy jokes we've ever seen. And that's a lot coming from us. Oh yeah, right. Sure, that's a good one. Now come on, stop teasing me. Number 4. LSD Dream Emulator Though not technically meant to recreate a hallucinogenic experience, LSD Dream Emulator certainly feels like a really bad acid trip. Based on the Japanese developer's dream journals, LSD Dream Emulator does an admirable job of forcing you to explore disjointed, morbid, and confusingly nightmarish landscapes filled with strange symbolism and graphics. But unfortunately, it's not always very fun. Some consider this game to be genius, and others consider it overblown and ridiculous. But either way, LSD certainly stands on its own as… something. Number 3. I Am Bread Created by the same developers as Surgeon Simulator, I Am Bread is yet another exercise in hair-pulling frustration and goofball gameplay mechanics. What's more exciting than being put in the shoes of an all-powerful warrior? Well, how about becoming a piece of white bread? You control a slice of bread with a one-track mind. Get toasted. If you spend too much time on a disgusting surface, your bread's edibility meter drops. It's one of the most ridiculous game concepts of all time, but pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Number 2. Ski Jumping Pairs Reloaded Sometimes there's just no explaining cultural phenomenons, and that goes double for Japan. At some point, someone thought it would be hilarious to render the most ridiculous, nonsensical ski jump stunts of all time and then match them with an extremely simplistic rhythm game. The gameplay is almost non-existent, but ski jumping pairs isn't about presenting a challenge, it's about making you laugh your ass off with some of the most insane 3D animations ever put on disc. And if you're following that as criteria, it's one of the greatest games ever made. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. <laughs> Number 1. Cho and Iki Series Clearly one of the manliest franchises ever made, Cho and Iki is also one of the strangest. This game series is simply obsessed with the concept of muscle-bound bald men in thongs, to the point that you both control one and fight against endless legions of them. <laughs> Otherwise, Choaniki is a fairly standard Gradius style shooter. Many people think that the game explores homosexual content. Choaniki simply thinks that the idea of screens upon screens of scantily clad muscle heads is hilarious. And you know what? They're kinda right. Do you agree with our list? Did we forget any mind bogglingly weird games? Be sure to check out our first list on the subject. And for more mind-bending top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Just do it for your mother. Ma. John. Yeah, okay.